Hey bud, who's taking you to school this morning? Mommy, the super mom. <laughs> super mommy, first time on the bicycle, just me and him. All right, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Mommy. Yeah? I saw the roses. The roses? All right, first time on the bike since uh, having the baby, since my pregnancy. Hey everybody, so the last time that I vlogged was yesterday when I was bringing Callum to school. Um, I didn't vlog, well I haven't vlogged since then because this little one, this one has demanded lots of time and attention and I've also been um, trying to keep Linnea occupied. Don't start waking up. Ooh, he's grouchy. At least he's taking a nap. Vlogging has been challenging because you need hands to vlog and my hands are always full with one or two or three kids or I'm doing laundry or I'm doing stuff. But I'm on my way now to get Callum from his school. He's still going four hours a day. They have added more kids to his kindergarten. So the, f no, the four Shula kids, so the kids that are about to start school in the fall, they're there, that's Callum's class. They've also got the five-year-olds in as well. And we got an email today from his kindergarten saying that they have reached capacity in his kindergarten already, um, given the new measurements to allow uh, the infection rate to not spread so quickly. Callum has, in general, like 16 kids in his class, so they've split his class up into two. So eight and eight, but now that means they have to have double the space because they have they have his group split into two and all the groups are split like that. I'm sure this is a problem with lots of different kindergartens and schools. Um, schools are already at capacity here in Berlin. They have to figure out what to do in terms of kids and I, I can't imagine being uh, or working or running a kindergarten right now, forget it. <laughs> Or a school, oh my gosh. I was telling Roman today when I, because I, I brought Callum to school again this morning, and I came home and I said, I mean, can you believe that this is the world that we live in? Like, I think now that we're kind of coming out of it a little bit, I'm starting to process what we went through. And what we went through was not, was nothing compared to what other people went through. And I, I that's just how it is. We were pretty lucky with our situation that our kids were home, Roman could work from home, we, we were fine, um, I mean it was stressful with kids at home, but in general it was a really lovely time for us as a family, uh, with this little guy especially. But, um, I mean it's just, like we live, we're in a pandemic. Like, we're in a pandemic. It's so crazy to think we're in a pandemic. The whole world shut down for weeks, weeks at a time. <laughs> wow. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Settle down. Callum, come get your bike. Callum's home from school. Oh my gosh. Callum, come get your bicycle. Callum! He cannot hear. Callum, come get your bicycle. We're home. <laughs> Neighbors. Okay. I mean, of course he wakes up. It's loud. Come on in. It's always Okay. Now. Okay, so the first thing we do, take off your shoes and wash your hands. Thank you. Hey, Papa. Hey, what took you so long? <laughs> Callum, Mr. Chit Chat. <laughs> <laughs> He was having like, you know, coffee time with his buds. Oreos. Yeah, we're sharing, Lene and I are sharing some Oreos. Um, Oreo thins. They're tiny. Uh, what are we watching for family movie night? Oh! I don't know. Tarzan! Tarzan. <laughs> Lene is first time having an Oreo. I never have had an Oreo before. Mm -mm. So Papa's giving Elliot his bath and I'm getting some time with my big kids. 
I love it. Love you. Thank you. You have Oreo on your shirt. Oreo <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 on my shirt. <laughs>